Wyoming will be your new home. Life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> Today, the eyes of all the folks on the Red Horse Ranch are turned toward Danville, where the rodeo is soon to take place. And as usual, Dad Carter is taking his entire outfit to the rodeo to compete in the various events. News that Steve Bradford is entering an eastern horse in the races at the rodeo has made Alabama all the more anxious to enter his horse, Red, in that event. Now, to Red Horse Ranch. When the good Lord set you free As I was going down the road Oh, Mona With a tired team and a heavy load Oh, Mona I cracked my whip and the lead horse sprung Oh, Mona And my hind hills busted the high wagon tongue Oh, Mona Oh, Mona You shall be free Oh, Mona You shall be free When the good Lord set you free To free for I'm hen house on my knees. Oh, Mona. I thought I heard a chicken sneeze. Oh, Mona. He sneezed so hard with a whoop and cough. Oh, Mona. He sneezed his head and his tail right off. Oh, Mona. Oh, Mona. You shall be free. Oh, Mona. You shall be free. When the good Lord sets you free. Oh, Mona. You shall be free. Oh, Mona. You shall be free. Oh, Mona, you shall well, Rose. I see you got your riding togs on, all ready to go. Yes, Alabama. Oh, Dad's just as excited about the rodeo as ever. Are all the boys ready? Yeah, they're down sitting in the buckboard entertaining Dewey oh. and getting practiced up to do some entertaining when we get to Danville. Oh, I guess this ranch is really going to be deserted for a few days. Yeah. Why, Dad's even letting Cookie go along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cookie's entering the Grease Pig Contest. <laughs> he sure is going to have to be faster at catching that pig than he is at cooking well, chuck. I should say. That is if he expects to bring any honor to the red horse outfit. Well, we know the rest of you boys will win. You always have. Yeah. Oh, uh, how does Red look? Mighty good, Rose. I'd give my right arm to see Red win that final race at the rodeo. Well, I intend to come back with some prizes, too, Alabama. Don't forget that. Well, sure, <laughs> I'm not forgetting that. You're riding Prince in the races, are you, Rose? Well, yes, unless Dad lets me take Blackie, mm -hmm. and I'm afraid he won't. <laughs> Alabama. Yeah. Is, the, is Tenderfoot all right? Yeah, he seemed mighty glad to be back, Rose. Oh, that's good. Uh, I had a little trouble taking, uh, talking him into staying, you know, mm -hmm. after he'd run away like he did, but he's all right now. Oh, I'm so glad. You know, it wouldn't seem right to have any of the boys gone after all we've been through together. Yeah, we have been through a lot, haven't we, Rose? Oh, uh, come on, let's go down and join the boys. All right, let's do. <laughs> Dewey seems to be taking in all the music, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, there's a boy that's going to be a real buckaroo someday. Come on, let's all go right. down. And I'll tell you all a tale of you, Carl, my partner, and his last 
last ride on the trail. As Lenore raised her pony at the cattle on the rise, the blanket slipped beneath her and caught the stir of time. When the cowboys saw the blanket, they all held their breath. If now should the pony fail her, none could save Lenore from death. About 15 yards behind her, Utah Carl came riding fast. Though he never knew that moment, the ride would be his last. His pony reached Lenore with a firm and steady bound. He swung from out the saddle to catch her from the ground. But the cinches of his saddle had not been felt before. And his back seemed snapped asunder, and he fell beside Lenore. He now picked up the blanket and swung it o'er his head. And started across the prairie, lie still Lenore, he said. His six-gun flashed like lightning, the report rang loud and clear. As the cattle rushed to kill him, he dropped the leading steer. And when we broke the circle, where Utah's body lay, with many a wound and bruise, his young life ebbed away. Well, how'd you like that story, Dewey? That was pretty good. Only did Utah Carl really get killed, like you sang about? Yeah. But he was as brave as they make him. Sure. Almost as brave as your old pal Alabama coming there. <laughs> What's that you were telling Dewey here, Bob? Oh, I was telling him what a bum cowpuncher you was, <laughs> Alabama. Oh, I ain't neither a bum cowpuncher. <laughs> you bet he isn't, Dewey. Alabama's all right, isn't he? <laughs> sure, he's going to win that race with a, in the rodeo. He said so. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. According to Bradford, he's going to win the race. Uh, well, whenever Bradford says something, I think just the opposite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Dewey, what a pretty locket around your neck. May I see it? No, sir, it's mine. Oh, Ooh. that ain't no way to talk to a lady, Dewey. Oh, that's all right. I've been trying to swap him for that locket all day, and he won't even take an arrowhead for it. Pappy gave it to me. Nobody can have it but me. Say, here comes Mr. Carter. I guess that means we're ready to go. Oh, we're ready to oh, start. You're, you're ready to stretch out, Dad? Yeah, just about ready to go. Oh, you can ride in the wagon with me, Rose. Well, I'll ride Prince for a little way if you don't mind, Dad. No, no, we want Prince to be in good shape for the tryouts yeah. in the morning. Oh, all right. You let the boys lead him behind. Now you boys bring all your music boxes. Oh, all right, we're all set. Where's Tenderfoot? Oh, I sent him over to help Cookie get that chuck wagon hitched up. We never would get started if we let Cookie take his time. Arizona and I'll go help him. Come on, Arizona. All right, all right boys. Now I hope you have enough songs to keep the folks entertained at the rodeo. Oh, I don't think we'll run out of songs, Mr. Carter. No. Well, they'll keep you singing all day. You better do some more practicing. Yeah. I am now 35 and my dear little wife is just ten years younger than me. She is full of enjoyment, has plenty of life, and she sometimes goes out on a spree. She will leave me behind for the babies to mind, the house in good order to keep. And then she will roam far away from her home, while I rock all our babies to sleep. What do you think of that? Toss up the baby ever so high. Your mama will come by and by. One night when I got all our babies to sleep, I took a short walk down the street. 
And to my surprise I saw with my own eyes My wife with a policeman six feet <laughs> At first I grew wild When I passed them I smiled And says I while taking a peek You've been hugging and kissing and having your fun While I rocked all our babies to sleep <laughs> The baby ever so hard Your mama will come by and by yeah, That's good enough Say, if it was just a few years back uh, I'd show all you boys some tricks up there at the rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess I'm doing wrong by deserting the old ranch this year. Why, what do you mean, Mr. Carter? Everything's all right, ain't it? Oh, yes. They'll be moving the equipment on to start drilling for oil right soon. Oh, Dad, let's not worry about that now. Why, you haven't missed a rodeo since I can remember. Well, things will be safe around here for a while anyway with Steve Bradford over at the rodeo. That's oh, right. look, Dad, there come the boys back. I guess they got Cookie's chuck wagon all hitched up. Yes, finally. Cookie, you heathen you, why don't you ever get a move on? Yes, I was coming. I was just waiting for whirlwind. Why, you ain't counting on bringing that burrow of yours along, are you? Yes, whirlwind. I was going to enter him in the race. Are you going to ride whirlwind or is whirlwind going to ride you. Oh, listen <laughs> here. You might think he can't run, but once whirlwind gets going... Now, Cookie, if you don't get a move on, we're leaving you at home, and someone else will get to win that grease pig catching contest. Yes, that pig's practically caught right now. All right, then, now let's go. Well, come on, boys. Let the horses walk behind. Get up beside me here, Dewey. Get by me, and you too, Tenderfoot. Yeah. Say, let's have some music as we leave, boys. How about Oh, Susanna? Yeah. Get them horses moving. Come on. Let's get up, little boy. Get up. <laughs> well, we are off to the rodeo. <laughs> Let's not fail to join the crowds at the rodeo. There's sure to be plenty of excitement when Alabama matches red against Steve Bradford's entry in the races. <laughs> 